Good citizens of Brooklyn, New York, please welcome to the stage, David Cross. As prisoner number 187-659-3210 was being gross in showers, she began to reflect upon her first eight days at Auschwitz after having been rounded up from her home and her, all her property and possessions destroyed or looted as her once friendly neighbors jeered at and spit on her and her children as they were pistol whipped and sent into the train cars along with other Jews and gay people and the disabled, et cetera, et cetera. And upon arrival at the camp, watched helplessly as her children were taken from her and marched into the woods just beyond this. Oh my God. This one's even worse. This is how old I am. Soldiers as she was taken to have her head shaved and her arm tattooed, enduring vicious experiments and slow starvation. And as she was shoved back into the line for the delousing shower, it began to occur to her that perhaps these weren't showers after all, and that <laughs> this might be nothing that she would ever return from. And as the doors were sealed shut and the Zyklon B gas dispensed, and she watched as everyone futilely clawed at the door and the window until they all succumbed one by one, what were... It was like 50... This is very much like that time the government required me to get vaccinated against the Spanish flu. The same, it's the same thing. It's really very, it's very similar. It's a, it's a similar scenario. Um, some would say the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. Thank you. Good night. Thank you for coming. Um, oh, thank you guys so much for coming down here. Uh, this is the last of our shows. I can already hear my voice going. Because uh, I yell a little later. I'm going to yell. I want my kid good at bowling. Uh, uh, this has been so much fun, and, and thank you so much for coming. And, and, and uh, also, thank you. Everybody here is vaccinated, had to show their proof of vaccination. Yeah, everybody's got vaccine. Good. That's great for obvious reasons, uh, but mostly because you know what that means. No fucking cops. <laughs> Cop-free zone, motherfucker. Yeah. All right. That's great. <laughs> um, and and uh, and just say so. What which uh, vaccines did everybody get? Uh, Pfizer, Moderna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there are there. Are, I heard three J. I heard a J J. And then over here. And there was one over here, right? Just the just the four of y'all. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, well, I'm so sorry, but uh, I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. Excuse me? Well, that, I don't care. It's, you, you got the Johnson & Johnson shot and you need to be with your own kind. It's, I was in Canada for when the vaccine was uh, uh, made available. I'll get to all that stuff in, in a bit, but it was a much different situation in Canada. And we, you know, we read and watched uh, with, with kind of uh, uh, jealousy, like everybody in the States getting, uh, <laughs> not everybody, um, <laughs> prior people uh, noted. Um, so you, you all got your vaccine by injection, right? I shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Canada, well, yeah, I know it's not the right thing. It was, um, mine was a gummy. So, <laughs> that can't be right. Okay, but all right, so I know what vaccine you all got. Which uh, microchip 
did everybody get? <laughs> What'd you elect to get? 5G, Bill Gates. 5G, Bill Gates. Which one? <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Which one? NVIDIA. NVIDIA? It's a chip company. Oh. <laughs> you, you took it literally. Okay, great. That's one way to do a joke. That's one way. Start here, come right back around the other way. Maybe you'll pass something funny along the way. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. Okay, good. Uh, I, I got, I went with it for two reasons. Uh, I opted to get the uh, microchip implanted by the liberal Jew run media. Yeah, yeah? Okay. I'm, for me, my reason. All the controllers, all the games, everything, right? Gives them all to me. Now, my mom has the anxiety too, but Italian moms, forget it. Mixed berry. So, <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should say that, to be honest, totally honest, I didn't do it uh, for your safety, the safety of others. I didn't do it for my safety. I, I, I was reluctant to get a vaccine until I found out that it would turn you into a magnet. And then I was like, fuck yeah. And, and I, was, I was, because I heard that it was all on, you know, uh, YouTube videos of people going to town council meetings all over the country, all over the place. And, and there's tons of them. And, um, and they were all upset because it was, the vaccine was going to turn people into magnets. And that's the true purpose. And I was like, I'll, I want to be a magnet. I'll fucking... <laughs> I, I jumped at it. Just give me the fucking magnet vaccine. I don't care which one. I don't care where it is. I'll go to a van under an overpass, like, you know, with no windows and just like, oh, yeah, what do you got? What do you got for me? Well, uh, take some pints anyway. I don't care. I want, I want to be a... Uh, why would you refuse magnet powers? The government is giving away free magnet powers. That's awesome. I would happily jump on that fucking go to your, you know, give me that, you know, however it works, I don't know, you turn it on or off and just like fuck with everybody's cell phones and compasses, we're lost, now you're triple lost, all right, <laughs> go to, go to the beach with those, you know, old guys like, ning, 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 ning. hey, watch this motherfucker, <laughs> out of ancient Viking sword, <laughs> oh my god, I would so, I would love to have magnet powers. So they would go uh, uh, to these, you know, the, the town council meetings and they'd get, they're livid and they're upset and they're, they're proving because they got the vaccine and now it's, now they've turned into a magnet and <laughs> they take a spoon or, uh, uh, you know, some cutlery and, and then they would, they would go, watch, watch. And then they, it would stick for a second and then it went <laughs> drop off. Literally, 100% of the time, every single solitary time, the cutlery would fall off because, of course, they're not a magnet. Because there's nothing that can turn you into a fucking magnet. We can't turn human beings into magnets. So they, and it would stick for a second, second and a half, you know, because they were sweaty. And, um, and sweating is an involuntary reaction that your body has to lying. Uh, <laughs> and these, like, how? <laughs> and they're, and they're, it's, they're falling off. Literally, there's hundreds of them. They're falling off, and then they're, you know, trying to save face for, for what? Dead, you. At this point, and just like, you know, I, it's not, it, okay, well, now it's not. It was, but now it's not because of the chemtrails. Those chemtrails are demagnifying me. Like, well, I thought, wait a second, you were in here last week screaming at us about chemtrails. You didn't, so you like the chemtrails? No, well, I mean, for the anti-magnet, but I'd rather have not, I'd rather no magnet. How much time, is, is my allotted time up yet? Can I go, can I go? Oh, those poor guys.